Hey, everyone. I actually, and this is something I highly encourage you to do as well, is if you're trying to help someone, um, it's really hard to, you know, when you're focused on something, to think openly entirely about what you do, because you have your way of doing things. So I asked Isaiah to watch how right now I get the newsletter done, this auto hockey newsletter we produce every week. And it's not ideal, right? But every week I improve it slightly, but I thought, you know what, I'd, I'd love to show you and then let everyone see kind of how I'm doing it. And, you know, I'd, I'd love if people have other thoughts on it, right? I, I know there's 80 scripts I could write that would make this faster. Don't get me wrong. It's a matter of, you know, how much every time every week do I want to invest on creating new scripts versus I have other work to do as well, right? But right. I, I have a kind of a cool process. Let me Let me share my screen here. So what I do is... I have a word template file that has my kind of, you know, template for the the newsletter that week with the things that usually are often are in here, right? So mm-hmm. this is where I start. And by the way, just to, to back up, I write it in Word and I add some hyperlinks and stuff in Word. And then I go to a, a, a page where I paste in the Word doc and it converts it to HTML. I know Word has a built-in mm-hmm. save as HTML, but the crap it throws in there, it's ridiculous. So yeah, it is. Yeah, so um, this is my template with, and I have like up here are my icons that I, you know, and um, emojis and things that I often use. So I'm like, why not have them there? And by the way, the first, it's it's an annoying thing with Word, but when you, you can't, what I do when I'm actually in my file is I will split, where is that right here? Split it. And so this is always here that I can yeah. scroll down. And I'm like, oh, hey, I can put, you know, some lips here. Right? Yeah, you, you... yeah. Yeah, you just split the screen right there. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to magically switch over to the one that I have. I'm in the process for today's newsletter, which is so I do it all by the date. So here is one I've this morning worked on, and I have my intro. And notice there's a you know there's always the mail merge, and then I've gone through and in Word, you know, I have hyperlinks to stuff. I didn't go back. I'll probably add a few more emojis here and there. But you can see the document here, right? And this is a really good place to say, okay, because that, no matter what, that's just going to take time to do, right? And I think adding yeah, the hyperlinks. This, is, this work, is the real. This yeah. is actually the real work, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and now this is the the one. This here's one I have. You know, I'm going to bounce it off you as is because it it really bugs me that I haven't come up with a better solution for it. But like, so see here, I here is an HTML element for putting in the QAP logo. And having it clickable. So I have all this in here because I'm like, hey, that's really cool. But the problem is if I put an image here and I save it with the, it, it doesn't, when I paste it, it doesn't transfer like in the way it should to the, to the word. So let me, let me. Yeah, so so you, you're talking about the, the other tool. So the other yeah. tool doesn't actually, and that would be something that is, um, is something that you might not be able to control. It is the tool that is not doing yeah. the job. <laughs> you know, it's not actually well, translating that. Yeah. And, and I'm using a free version of the tool. There's, mm. They have a paid version and I read and I'm like, I'm just not clear. It's it's not cheap. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not buying it. But um, if it actually took care of some of these things, I might consider it. So let me, anyway, I'm going to copy this. I go to this HTML online tool and I paste right. here. Oh, and I'm already, I have too many links, unfortunately. <laughs> um, which is rare for me already to have had that. So let me, it's probably just, <laughs> um, let me get rid of this. And, and what's cool is I can just say, okay, well, let me. Uh, half of it, right? Yeah, like you just right. do half of it and then right. Right. join the merge them together. Right. So, oh, oh, actually that, all right. So I shouldn't have grabbed everything. This doesn't come in. That's just part of my template. So now what I do is I go through. And so that was the first one. And so see, so let's see. So where is, here and i wish there was a better way to do this but uh, and let's start actually i'd like to start at the bottom and go up so here's the first one the qap news oh the first thing i do and i wrote a thing to this i just don't have it handy is to go through on every h3 and add a line return just so it's visible easier for me to find the stuff because if i don't do that right yeah 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 it's just harder to, to jump around and spot the stuff And, and I had one that just said, hey, select all, do a search replace for every yeah, And then just exactly that does yeah. what, what, what you would do. Uh, but this usually takes me, you know, a couple seconds on the car, right, whatever. All right. So now we're at the bottom. So here, what I end up doing is this was, it took me a while because I didn't used to do this. And I'm like, oh, if I just come over here and now cut this, 
and then come over here where you paste it. Yeah, that's right. And I actually want it inside here. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's, you know what? That's not terrible. Right. Like, <laughs> I wish there was a way. It actually had it. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, that I can the live. The tool with is that. not really. Oh, so, uh, you know what? I think the reason for it not working is because the, you know how it converted quick access pop up to H3, right? Yes. For the link to work, it has to be inside the H3 um, tags, seems to be, on this tool. If no. you put it outside, it doesn't do it. It does. It'll just put it after it. Right. That's what I That's what I would expect it to do, but it looks like it's not doing it. When it is reading your file, it's not actually just grabbing the image and putting it right next to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it even then, it breaks. If I left this, if no, I was to have had yeah. this as a right. picture in the Word doc and the hyperlink, right. it doesn't convert it to what I want. So it is yeah. not getting the, the clickable link. Right. And that's what happens. Yeah. So it's yeah. not, the yeah. clickable image is not actually. Right. right. So hmm. I think undo here. There we go. Okay. So I go through on each of these things and say, okay, fix this stupid thing. So, uh, expressions. I don't actually, was that really knife? Swiss, oh, okay. Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And so, see, actually, that, that sucks. So, see, sometimes it does. Oh, I did the undo. And so uh -huh. I. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. lost the, the, the yeah. spacing. Right. But I would actually just use the control F to kind of like highlight them all first and then do the. Because that way you don't have to search for them. You just. So if that, you select, so if you select that and then Control F, well, the whole thing, the H three. Yeah. So now they're highlighted. I just yeah. go and hit Enter on each of them. Well, you mean just so just using it as a visual? Right. So yeah. instead of like searching for it manually, yeah. Yeah. I could just see them highlighted, and it's a little bit right. kind of yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's it does help. <laughs> every and that's the thing is every little bit and then part of it's uh you know remembering to do it and right got... actually when i was <laughs> when i was doing uh the training uh on the previous company that i was right i was doing what is called co-training in which a real trainer gives the lessons and i'm just watching and then later on i would do the lessons and he's just watching to verify that i learned everything correctly right, right. so and then Whenever I was looking at them, it was so painful because they were doing like, yeah, now we're going to scroll in here for hours on end to find something. And unless you, you can just press control F, you know, right, right. <laughs> you, know, like, uh, you can just press control F. And then when I was doing the, the lesson, then I was doing that and they were like, oh, oh, I didn't know that. And I'm like, yeah, you can. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. Actually, to your point, where is I'm trying to find Reg X, but. I think uh, did you did you uh, there it is so it is on the left side but it is not on the right side wow what why they don't that's the thing I don't like about this they don't they don't stay lined up so it no no so they they're not lined up but if you oh here here oh down there just uh, I yeah, think is I'm, right I was amazed yeah there we go yeah. oh so it doesn't say red gag so this I think I think those are the oh no there's one more. Oh, and actually, I should have demonstrated this. So, so just FYI. So, for files, oh, wrong automator. So here, and I had a what was it? Um, maybe gas. Is that what it was? So gas prices. So here's the the file that I want. It's a mm -hmm. picture, right? right? I can hit Control Shift C, and when I come over here and put the actual like. Oh, the subject line shouldn't have been that. That goes into the email itself, so that that shouldn't be here. Uh -huh. If I paste that, so it went and grabbed that for me, wrote the HTML for me. Right, right. I I said, hey, get the path. It's actually not the exact path. You have to do a search or a place in order to to get it. Right, the path, and that's a little too small. Let's make that. Easy. There we go. Okay, and I'll probably move this, you know, where it's actually located. But that right. that but one alone, the, yeah, just it, just. Grabbing a, a file from Explorer right. and, and well, getting th no, this is the yeah, but this is the WinSCP. This is in the cloud, right? This is on the automator.com. 
So, right, right. So, so, but, but you got the link from the like you got the name from the explorer or the no. location or how did you do it? No, from WinSCP from the cloud. These are these are files in the cloud. Right, right, right. I know, but but look at the the there's a uh, how do I say it? like the URL up there. So you got the URL from that file, right? And then you converted it into HTML, wasn't it? Yes, but the exactly. I'm just saying, so, but the path is to the cloud. Not it's not from Windows Explorer. It's not Win. No. So what I meant by Windows Explorer was this window here. So okay. you just clicked on the right. window. You selected the file. Right. Right. Um, not yeah. in your computer. It's just like you selected right. the file and it got the link yeah. for there's a uh, copy file names, copy clipboard, including path. So this is right. what my hotkey sends. And then because if I do that and we look at it, yeah, it would just be the, the E would there. be just the yeah. right. So there's this that needs to go away, add the HTTPS at the beginning and, and right. what, right? But yeah, it's a nice... So you have to kind of like clean it up a little bit right. before you go and... Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it took me like, you know, four months to, to realize like, wait a minute, why don't I... Why I could do this. <laughs> right. Same thing every time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that was yeah. you know, a fair amount of time. So now I have in here, which is, I wish there was a better way, but I realized this actually works quite well. Here is like... No, 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 right there. So see, because she must have been, so see it here. And I just know, because I just wrote this newsletter, right? To me, I remember where stuff is, but I can come over here and look. So here is, uh, this is a link to a video. Oh, you can see it here, right? Yeah, it is a link to a video. So first I need to, so I use QAP a lot. To, so I'm working on the newsletter uh, and I think it's our HTML, HTML. Here we go, YouTube image. So right now I go through and I do all the, the YouTube stuff. So I okay, should okay. Oh, I like this, hit my hotkey. It goes, does an API call, actually does an API call, gets the gets the uh, image. Uh, the, 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 the thumbnail as well as uh -huh. the title and description. And then uh -huh. I can just and it shows you that thumbnail, right? Which is that's when I added right. I, I saw it, right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, I got, you know, but notice it put one array, like it put in some alt text for me. It put part of the thing. Yes. Um, and it, it actually created kind of like the whole reference link yeah. um, with yeah. all the alt and everything. And wrote the line return, you know, a hard line return after the issue. Right. That's, that's what I want. I'm like, okay. yeah. this, like, it's, oh, it's so much simpler, right? Of like very quickly going through. And then you just have to go through and go, okay, well, where, you know, where are my video hyperlinks? Right. Again, I would just highlight YouTube and uh, to search for it. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Uh, this is the, I'll undo. This is the, the limit. Uh, my limit. Yeah. Which is, I must have a lot of, normally I don't have that much stuff in here. But, but basically, yeah. let me think of it if there's, because we don't have to go through every little detail. But after I do. No, I, I understand. Yeah. That's, you know, honestly, that's, that's, that's almost it. Then I save this. As an HTML file, I add a few more because of that link limit. I add my my banner, um, which is in. So in inside, by the way, inside QAP, and I have a different hotkey to pull up. This jumps right to the newsletter because I use it so much. So I have my whole HTML section, and I could say, "Here's here's my banner." Right, this has the links to all of our courses. Right, and they're clickable. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, and and but sometimes, like let's say, I don't know if I have one um, for for like your channel. Um, I would have put it as either Raptor X or a Toots HK Toots. No, I don't see one. I don't know if you have like a thumbnail for you, but see, like for Hellbent, mm, not yet. Yeah, yeah. I see. So the I, just, I have kind of like an icon for, it, but uh... okay. So well, I'll go through and add that. But it's this when I'm mentioning someone, it makes it yeah. so easy for me to inject that HTML into the newsletter, and and I exactly I almost. Don't even have to check the hyperlinks because I before I send hit send I send it to myself and click them and see if it's going to where I want. These it's like I can't mess it up. You know what I mean? It's it's they're, they're you know tested over and over. So I'm like you know what? It's so simple. I have oh here's links to courses and and this is the this is all HTML. I have general links to the web pages somewhere else. So just the URLs on their own and the whole separate thing. But okay. uh, here, here I can put in references like even VSCO. Like these are just things that, you know, they make help make it pop. Um, and then right. other just images that are kind of fun, you know, things that I can put in. Um, and, of course, stuff from the automator. 
But yeah, it really streamlines the writing of this thing. It's unfortunate I have too many hyperlinks already, but because we could finish it up. But <laughs> that's really it, right? As I then save it um, and then start sending it to myself and testing things. But yeah, does that uh, overall make sense with the flow? Yeah. So basically, what uh, the writing of the HTML. I think is the one that the the step that you take more time on because you actually have to do the creative, the writing of the stuff, and then you have to modify the links and do all these little details, right? So it's good that you have a tool that actually helps you out with all of that, right? Most of that can be at some point automated, but in general, I think the tools that you're using right now are perfect for what you're doing, right? Because it has all of the, you can have granular level of control of what you want to do. You can select right. one of the videos and say, I don't want, right. want that one to have a right. thumbnail. Right. I only want this one to have it. If you automate it, it might happen that all the YouTube videos are going to have thumbnails. And what if I don't want that? And that particular- which, which comes up because sometimes I, in one like article part, I mentioned more than one video and I don't want multiple thumbnails. Like multiple thumbnails, right? So, so it is something that that would be a little bit harder to automate because right. then you will be like, how do I tell the program when I don't want right. it, right? So in this case, I think having the control of actually doing it yourself and just having tools for each specific situation, right. that's better actually, yeah. Cool, well, um, yeah, anyway, I... I and I'm sure at, at some point we'll think of, you know, I, I have some other stuff that that I, I also at times use, but it, you know, I mean, the thing is I could always do more in automation and doing it, but it, it, this keeps it very flexible where it's, it's you know, it's, it's manageable. It's not crazy to do. Clearly, this is where, boy, if you've ever tried to do an RTF to HTML conversion, like there's libraries. Oh, no, out there I haven't tried that. It's so right, complex. Yeah. Um, and, and this does such a yeah. good job of keeping that code clean, you know, keeping it very yeah. minimal of the HTML. Because in Word, this would be like 10 times the size um, the HTML would be, right? It, it would be insane. Indeed. Stuff. Yeah. But, um, okay. Well, thank you, man. I, I, as I said, or if anyone watching this, if you can have some thoughts of what else could be done, right? Um, it's There's no right or wrong answer. Um, no, uh, you know, part there, of it is... There is no right or wrong. Yeah. And, and part of the argument could be, well, hey, but you know what? Word, you could do it in Word and save it. And yeah, the, the HTML is 10 times as much, but who cares? You know, it's really still small, quote unquote, small as file size goes. Um, and maybe that, you know, I shouldn't really care about that. I guess the thing is, because I'm in there actually editing the HTML, that's why I like it clean because it's so much easier to jump around right. and find if, stuff. If, if it was dumped as something that you could right away use, you might not even look at the HTML. Right. You just right. grab it, put it, and that's it. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you, man. We'll talk soon. Bye.